Hey, I'm Kelly. I'm Sam, and this is Sunday. The topic of conversation: our child, our love, or pride and joy, and also why you shouldn't have a dog in a van. Welcome back to our channel. If you don't already know, Sam and I live full time in our self-converted Sprinter van. And so after about six months of living in our van, we have some pros and cons of what it's like living with a dog in a van. So if you live in a van or you live in a tiny space and you're wondering whether you should get a dog or not, or if you're just interested to hear why we think you shouldn't, then stick around. So to give some backstory, we had Sonny before we ever lived in the van. We lived in an apartment with him. We rescued him. We actually foster failed with him and he has a lot of separation anxiety so we knew actually this lifestyle would be good for us because he cries a ton when we are apart so apartment living was not great for him or us no it wasn't. and annoying for neighbors <laughs> And now, Sonny's been living in the van with us for the past six months, so we went from apartment dog to van dog. So I guess we'll start off with the cons first because some of our van friends have asked us, okay, what's it like having a dog? Cause we're thinking about getting one or other people have like, you live in there with a dog? And it's honestly not that bad. We were almost going to adopt our foster dog and we are definitely planning on getting another dog or two or three or four in the van. Six, seven. It's definitely doable. We have friends that have three dogs in their van and it works. So starting off with the cons is potentially an obvious one. It is the limitations that you have. Having a dog in general has some limitations, but especially when you live in your vehicle, we can't go to most national parks, which is a huge bummer for travelers. We just can't go to certain things. Like if we wanted to go to a baseball game in Denver, we had to get him a babysitter. And that was the only time we've ever done that we can't go out to bars and restaurants without him and some people are very comfortable leaving their dog in their van because it is temperature controlled but we don't feel really comfortable leaving him for more than like an hour or two so that is a huge limitation date nights have become a little bit more difficult he you know he's the third he's wheel. gotta come he's, he's the third wheel he's the third wheel every time we have a date night you yeah know? <laughs> con number two it definitely makes you a little bit less stealthy so if you're trying to like kind of sneak in somewhere for the night or you're trying to not make too much of a scene if sunny or your dog sees something and starts barking and immediately it's a giveaway that there's people in there. So if you're trying to be super stealthy all the time, if you're like living in like big city and you're just trying to make sure no one knows that you're in there, having a dog can maybe take that away. Yeah, another thing with not being stealthy is you have to take your dog out to go to the bathroom. So whereas we have a toilet in our van, no one necessarily will know that we're in this van. Sunny has to go out to the bathroom. So you have to open up your van and kind of expose yourself. So that is something to know. You just naturally cannot be as stealthy when you have a dog. You can try. Yeah, you can try. And then the third con would be it's obviously more expensive. And that just goes with having a dog in any situation. Doesn't matter you have if you're to, in yeah, yeah, you have to spend more money, you know, on their food, their treats, their activities, things like that. Worth noting, it's more expensive. Number four, if you're building your van and you already have the dog. The dog. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, if you're building your van and you already have a dog and you're trying to build space room, it does take a lot of space away from you. So for us, like Sunny's dog bed, it's perfect and it's so cute and we think it looks great. But that is so much storage from us that we lost in this build. And it's definitely something to know. You will have less, you know, storage for yourself. And in a van, every inch counts. Ever since we got Sonny, he's been in his own bed and he starts out there and then goes into our bed. And he just feels so much more comfortable with that. He loves being in a tiny space to start off his sleep. So we wanted to make sure to build that into the van. But like Sam said, that does take space away from us. So that is something to consider. You have to, you know, food, toys, you know, like everything that a dog has, you will need space space for whether you have a crate for them or not in the van so it takes space away. <laughs> And number five, your van will get dirtier. Vans get dirty pretty quick because you're tracking in like sand or dirt or whatever. And having a dog definitely adds to that. And also when he gets wet in the ocean, that's obviously tough in the van. It just adds to overall dirtiness in your van. So if you're a neat freak or a clean freak, don't recommend. Yeah, but also if you're a dirt freak or neat freak, maybe van life ain't for you. Oh, Ooh, yeah, because vans get dirty so quick. So those are all the reasons you shouldn't get a dog if you live in a van. So if you saw our title and you're like, <gasps> don't have a dog in a van. No, we're dog freaks. Like, yeah, spoiler. Is, yeah, spoiler. We 
want every single dog possible in this van right here. I'll take 20, I don't care. Yeah, we have big dreams to be able to rescue as many dogs as possible on the road, but that's a topic for another day. So now let's go to the pros, which is my personal favorite thing to talk about. So one pro that we did not really expect or think about, number one would be security having a dog, especially if you are like a solo female in a van, it's really important, but also for us, we didn't expect this, but Sonny has become a good security dog. He especially hates creepy looking men, which I love. I hate creepy looking men too. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's so weird. He has like a sixth sense where it's not any man. It's specifically a man that anyone would think is a little creepy looking. He thinks so as well. And he will alert us and he will growl at them. And also he provides us personal space. We've been at campsites where people park unnecessarily close close to us when there's plenty of space and he will growl at them and they will leave. It's kind of amazing it's because incredible. he's actually like a cuddly softy, but he is a, our security. So I think it's kind of an unexpected, amazing bonus. Yeah, he doesn't put up with anyone's shit. No, I love that about yeah. him. The second great thing about having a dog in the van is it forces you to get out of the van. So every single morning, doesn't really matter how tired I am at around 7, 7.30, he's like, come on, I gotta go. So I take him out for a walk every morning. If we've been sitting around for a few hours, like we should probably take him out. So it's just really great. It gets us outside a lot more. When we're in a house or an apartment, sometimes we like push it with how often we would take them out now we're taking them out literally like every few hours and it's so much better yeah if you have a house you're probably just letting them go in the backyard and you have no reason to really leave your house also i know a lot of our van friends kind of get stuck in the van all day long because it's comfortable it's temperature controlled all that but when you have a dog you're forced to be out in nature and going along with that number three would be it just creates better habits because of that you have to have more exercise have more sunshine it just creates better habits and so i think that's an awesome thing that you don't even necessarily think about when you're getting a dog especially in a tiny space number four is something I love as a bonus as well it's a huge pro socializing dogs are a huge way to socialize with others I feel like we've made so many friends just like in parking lots opening up our doors where they see Sunny and they get super stoked and then we start talking yeah. to them and then we meet their dog having a dog is just like a super social way to meet friends yeah the fifth and final thing we're gonna say in this video about pros because we could just go on and on for literally like hours about all the amazing things about having a dog in the van but it's just the enjoyment and the love that they bring it's just so much fun having a dog in the van cuddling with them seeing the world through their eyes and bringing them everywhere mm -hmm. like our dog was a foster dog that we ended up rescuing and he was sadly like pretty close to getting euthanized so he went from almost you know not being on this beautiful planet to now seeing the entire world you know what i mean we've taken him to like eight or nine states all around he's you it's know crazy. pissed everywhere it's been amazing yeah he really that was a good way of saying it he really has seen the world now and i imagine it's like having a kid when you you get to see the world through their eyes, but it's better because it's a dog. Just obviously the enjoyment and love. I think it's so much fun to have a dog in a van. Honestly, it's the best. I would never travel in a van without a dog now. It's gotten to the point where we want just so many more dogs. It's, it's gonna be a problem one day. Actually, it's gonna be a solution. So those are the pros and cons of having a dog in a van. I hope if you were thinking about getting a dog that it helped you, or if you just love hearing about dogs and van life in general, I hope you found this entertaining. And yes, the title was why you shouldn't have a dog in the van, but we provided those details while also hopefully swaying you to get a dog. Yes. So if you want more daily updates and things like that, we love posting on Instagram. Our handle is at Sam and Kelly's van, super simple. You're gonna see a lot of content of our puppy on there. He makes it onto our IG every day. For sure. So thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it so much. I'm Kelly. I'm Sam, and this is Sunny sleeping in the corner, and we'll hope to see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. No lie, this is the best sunset I've seen. We locked ourselves out of the car, no keys, no phone, no AAA card, nada.